Hi, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lavava. Today, I want to talk about working with franchise brokers and specifically something you never want to do. Uh, but first, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe, hit the like button, whatever you need to do uh, to help me promote this channel because it's for you, for the prospective franchise business owner. That's what it's all about. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, topic at hand. I know it's counterintuitive, but uh, let me let me let me tell you this way. Um, it's been said that the more choices, the better. And when it comes to franchise opportunities, you do want to have a lot of choices in front of you, but you don't want to have the same choices. And here's what I mean: if you're going to work with a franchise broker, if you're going to go that route, if you're going to work with someone who will work with you for free because they get a big fat commission in the background. Don't work with two brokers at the same time. Don't do it. First of all, it's aggravating to franchise brokers. I'm a former franchise broker, so I know this. And second of all, you're, you're going to end up hurting yourself. You're going to confuse yourself. Here's why. Only about uh, maybe 5%, maybe close to 10% of every franchisor who's registered to sell franchises in the USA works with a franchise brokerage group. Most franchise brokerage groups and brokers will tell you that they work with, oh, about 200 different franchise opportunities. Here's a little secret. Pretty much, they all pretty much work with the same franchise companies. It's just simple math. If only a certain percentage of franchise companies work with brokers, they all pretty much are going to work with the same brokers. I mean, if you as a franchise executive are going to make the decision that you want to get leads, if you want to get uh, uh, people who want to buy franchises um, from franchise brokers, then you're going to probably choose to work with every franchise broker around. I mean, you go all in. But here's the deal. If you're looking for a franchise and you run across a broker and let's say you like him or her and you like their ideas, but then you think to yourself, hmm, I have an idea. I want more choices, so I'm going to go work with another franchise broker. I mean, what the heck? It doesn't cost me any more money, right? Here's the thing. So you're working with this one franchise broker. You've been working for about a month, month and a half. He or she has shown you two or three franchise opportunities. You like one of them. Then you say, well, I'm going to work with another broker. The other broker starts showing you a couple other franchise opportunities, including one of them that you're working with now, and then another one, and then another one. And pretty soon when you talk to these franchise brokers, you get so confused. You ask them about the franchise they're working, you're working with with the other broker. It, it, it's nuts. First of all, the franchise brokers aren't going to appreciate it if they find out you're working with another franchise broker. I know, I know that's their problem and stuff, but it's not going to help you. It's only can, can, it's only going to confuse things. Easy for me to say. Don't work with two franchise brokers because they're generally working with the same franchise companies. Why repeat? Why get shown the same franchise? But but what if they show me something else that the other broker hasn't thought of? It's possible, but it's still, it's just, you're going to confuse yourself. And, and you never want to be talking to too many franchise brokers or too many franchise companies. Two or three at the same time should be the maximum. And if you work with two or three franchise companies and you're learning about them, and then you decide that none of them work for you, you go back to the drawing board. Maybe at that time, okay, this is when to do it. At that time, stop working with the original franchise broker and find another one to work with. Maybe you'll get a choice or two that wasn't recommended by the first franchise broker, but maybe you won't. And maybe you find out that the first franchise broker was actually kind of right, and these are the franchises you should look at. Did I confuse you? I hope not. The bottom line, if you're going to work with a franchise broker, work with one and call it a day. I'm the franchise king, Joel Lababa. If you want to do something a little different and work one-on-one -on -one with me, I'm not a franchise broker. I do things a little differently. Click the link below this video and uh, let's talk about it. I'm the franchise king, Joel Lababa, and we'll do this again soon. Thanks for watching.